What's the vibe today? Today, I want to talk about how you can improve your overall gaming performance, how you can improve your reaction time, how you can improve your executive thinking, your cognitive function, your overall performance in game, competing, whatever it may be, casual play, and how we can do that through health and wellness, in game, out of game. Now, it's a given that you're going to, if you're competing or you're looking to play in some tournaments or it's a given that you're kind of working towards improving your craft. You're putting the time in doing that, right? That would make sense. But sometimes, like when I was playing, when I was playing Counter-Strike heavily, very competitively, I hit a plateau and I became started becoming very inconsistent. Um, and it's because I was putting too much time into the game and not enough time into myself my overall health and wellness, my ability to recover. No matter what age you are, you might be able to run off of a little bit of sleep. There's individual variances there, but no matter what age you are, you can't, you cannot maintain that for a long period of time. It's just, it really, it's really just that. I wish I, I wish I could watch all of these videos that I'm making. When I was younger, I wish I heavily invested in watching these videos and took some of the advice and started working towards myself because I, I guarantee I would have probably made it a little further. I wouldn't have plateaued. My mindset would have been a little better. So let's dive right in. If there's a little background on myself, right? First thing I'm going to say is I, and I just made a little, uh, a very in-depth video on this. So go back and, and watch it if you are interested, but um, you got to protect your eyes because a lot of players play with the screens very close to their, their face or they're, they're in a close proximity. Now the screens, the monitors, the TVs, whatever it may be. When I was playing 15, 16, 17 years ago, I mean, I've been competing throughout forever. But back then when I was heavily invested in those big CRT monitors, you might not even know what that is. Whoa, that makes me sound old. But there are those huge, really big, heavy monitors with big backs. They were very bad for your eyes. I mean, they, they just were. They weren't made very well. And I mean, they were, they were made well at, for the time, but in comparison to now, they weren't. And they put stra strain on your eyes and they kind of damage your eyes. Nowadays, the monitors don't really do that, but they do emit blue lights. And the blue light can, you know, it can kind of push fatigue in your eyes and your overall body and could cause headaches. So what I do is I wear blue light blocking glasses. The last video I talked more about this, I'm not going to go into it, but I do wear blue light black glasses every night, whether I'm playing games or just, you know, sitting in front of the TV, whatever it is, I block the blue lights from every aspect. And I do anecdotally, my personal opinion is that it does work. It helps reduce the fatigue in my eyes. The nights that I don't wear those, I can feel the difference. I really can. So there's, there's that. Go back and watch that video. The next thing I'm going to say is what you eat, what you eat, and what you put in your body, especially if you're snacking during gaming, really does affect your gaming performance. It affects your overall health. A lot of people know that, but it does indeed affect your performance. Let's put it in perspective. Let's say you're, if you, you might not even realize it because you're playing a video game, but let's take out the video game aspect. Let's say you eat something and it's a carb heavy. Let's say it's a bag of Doritos. I love Doritos. Okay. I haven't had Doritos in so many years up until recently, and I, I just binge eating Doritos. I mean, Doritos are fantastic. But I wouldn't eat those while I was playing video games or if I had any kind of cognitive executive decision making I needed to do. And I'll tell you why. If you if you go ahead and eat Doritos, this happens to me, obviously, individual variants. I'm talking about food in general. If you eat these Doritos and you eat the whole bag very quickly or you just devour the whole bag, whatever it is, big bag. Um, and you're not really paying attention, you're, you might hit that, you might get that uh, kind of spike in energy from the, the, the glucose spike, the carb spike here. And then you might get that crash feeling or kind of start feeling a little slow, like a little doggish uh, or groggy after eating it. If, and then, you know, throughout the day. So let's say sometimes I eat lunch, I eat that. I'll have a bag of Doritos as well, one of those like personal size bags. And it just puts me a little bit over the edge. And then I do, I do, I start slowing down. I feel sluggish and, you know, just not cognitively there. So, um, I, 
So, and I know it's from eating those Doritos. I, I, you know, so snacks affect, but if you're, let's say you're doing that to playing video games, you may not even realize that the food is making you tired and, and sluggish and delaying your cognitive ability and your reaction time from the food you're eating, eating healthy foods or trying to swap out healthier snacks overall to help your overall health and wellness, but also during gaming sessions to help with your improved game performance will significantly help, significantly help with your gaming performance. Like we just said, healthy snacks would be like just a cup of fruit, right? Fruit's good for you. Um, then you can, or you can do nuts. Like I eat a lot of, me and my daughter, she loves pistachios. We eat pistachios. Pistachios have tons of health benefits, lots of healthy fats in there to help fuel your brain, which is a very large aspect of gaming. Um, you can even eat just like whole grain crackers or a bowl of whole grain cereal with milk in it. Right. So, I mean, there's a lot of options out there to help kind of reduce the crashing feeling. So nutrition is another aspect. Um, an, another really, really big one. And I find this very important. I'm starting to get my sleep back on schedule. My body has not yet caught up recently. I've been really hammering my body. We'll say, cause I pay attention to a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> for after years of experience, it takes a while to learn all this stuff, but and I'm still learning, but sleep is very important. Um, if you are not getting enough sleep, you're going to feel that grogginess. You're going to feel a little anxious, more anxious. Most likely you're going to get a little more irritable and lack of sleep drives hunger. I talk about this a lot, but it does drive hunger, which in turn can affect that nutrition we just talked about, which in turn can affect, you know, your overall health and wellness and kind of your game and performance cascade effect here. So adding a, even just a little bit more sleep, um, you know, if there, if you're kind of just, instead of putting that extra hour in of just fun games or playing or whatever, especially if you're playing competitively at the end of the night, taking that time to actually rest will in turn improve all these aspects, but also will improve your game. It really, truly will. This is scientifically backed. This is anecdotally backed. This is a very large aspect of health and wellness, and it is it is very important. Sleep is very important. Another thing is exercise. Exercise helps boost brain your brain power, helps with reducing fatigue, helps hormone regulation, which in turn helps with uh, you know kind of being able to do hormones like everything, but also help with reaction time, your cognitive ability, your ability to make decisions, outplay your opponents or just outplay the, the computers if you're playing casual, right? The computer players. Getting exercise is important. You do not have to go from zero to 100 though. Keep that in mind. Most people don't even realize the very, very powerful benefits of simply walking. Walking is so powerful. You can get outside and walk for five minutes a day, especially if you have not done any walking. Get up and do a walk for five minutes each day, just five minutes will help to improve every aspect I just said, your cognitive function, your reaction time, your overall ability to think properly, your energy levels, your mood. Mood is a huge determining factor in playing video games. There are so many times when I was playing competitively that my mood was just not with it. And because of that, I wasn't cooperating properly with my team. I wasn't um, performing as well as I wanted to. So mood is a big aspect of overall health and wellness and to be able to maintain your journey and of course your game of performance. So improving upon all of the, all of the, these aspects that um, we touched on today will help to improve not only your health, but your game of performance, right? So let's, let's go over it again. Things I would say to focus on, to be able to help with overall game performance would definitely be try to reduce the strain of your eyes work on your a little bit of your nutrition, what you may be snacking on, your overall sleep patterns, and of course, add in some exercise and all of that will again help with not only your overall health, but your game and performance, such as reaction time, cognitive function, executive decision making, and of course, your overall mood. There you have it. There you have it, dreamers. If you like what you heard, hit, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. If you have any tips of your own, I would love to hear them. Any aspect of help that maybe I think, think I've missed, I would love to talk about those. So let me know in the comments. 
And I hope to see everybody in the next video. Later, dreamers.